birds of in the cottage are dancing your way. They'll share with you a wine or two, and this is what they'll say. You'll have fun in the rain, the sun. Learn about wine one by one. Happy times every day. Sing and dance, laughing all the way. What more will they say? Tom and Brian, the wine guys, are dancing your way. I'll tell you how much I know about wine. It's uh, it's right here, right there, right there, right there. That's, that's what I know about wine. So I'm perfect to sort of co-host this uh, endeavor. Well, Tom, I know a little more than you do, but this is gonna be a learning experience for me, okay. as well as for you and for, for our viewer. Right. And, and that's what the show's all um, about. Hopefully you're not gonna see a whole lot of cloudiness. Uh, Pinot mm -hmm. should be a nice garnet color, as I've said, and I think with this one, we have a beautiful, beautiful color. It's weird, I see my mother in the glass. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, that's a reflection of me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to reveal the big dog the man behind the dog mask, John Thompson. Take it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is! Look at that guy! Oh, Cleveland. You're less of a dog. Yeah, I, I, you know, I was up about the 529 range. I'm uh, wow, down, a, down almost 180 pounds, so I'm doing very well. Congratulations there. Congratulations 25 on weeks that. working on it. And you, you had that surgery. What was it called? What's the Gastric surgery? bypass. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's outstanding surgery. Basically, they shrink your stomach, bring up the intestines, connect them to a little pouch that they, you know, they put it right in below the uh, esophagus there. <laughs> All right. Don't have a stomach. I got it. Go it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I got it. Is that what, what, what's your get so Brothers of the bottle. <laughs> Brothers of the bottle. Yeah, there you exactly. go. <laughs> no, well, you came to the right place. <laughs> I gotta tell our, our folks here, but that this is uh, Joe. Joe is our amateur of the week. But no amateur, man. Let's not like dwell on the word amateur. Semi-pro. <laughs> Semi-pro. <laughs> is, that, is that your status? Yeah, I'm no. upgrading my status. <laughs> Here we are in Joe's beautiful Parma basement. Tools and wine. Yeah, it's my bodega. Welcome, Tommy. It's my sanctum sanctorum. Uh, this is where all the magic occurs. Right here, annually, I do about 60 gallons. That's a good weekend for me. Do you have problems with some of the uh, sort of stodgier, you know, um, uh, I don't know, snootier wine drinkers that come in and go, uh, you know, I just, well, why isn't it the name of the grape on there? What is the problem here? You know, Mr. It's Trump. a problem. <laughs> we, we make wines. Cabernet Franc is a good example of a wine that we make, I think, for, for those type of wine drinkers. Okay. And, you know, I mean, I do Pinot Gris. You know, we do some things like that that fit into that vein that are varietals uh, that are, you know, created, made, made in that image. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of the people that come into our winery don't know a lot about wine. They're not familiar with wine, wine terms, wine mm -hmm. etiquette, you know, the whole ball of wax. Mm -hmm. And by having a good selection of these uh, proprietary labels, these, these named mm -hmm. wines, you know, it gives them the opportunity to become wine drinkers and eventually drink the Cabernets and Get the Pinot Gris and the Chardonnays. So that's my answer to those stodgy wine drinkers. There you go. So Mr. Troutman, if you don't mind, can we walk around and look at some more sure. of your winery? Sure. Right, I'm but first, we'll drink some more Cabernet Franc. Sounds good. And we'll go down and investigate the world that is Troutman. All look right. at this handy, fill me up here. What do we got here? This what are we is, tasting? This is 04 Cab Franc. This is all from Wolf Creek Vineyard. 04? Uh, <clears throat> We got two two casks of that. Uh, Just a baby. We're all liquored up. <laughs> what do you mean you're all done? We tasted every one of them. 99 samples. You had 99 samples? Yeah, we started early, but we're done. But you're still standing. You look good. <laughs> you ought to be inside here. <laughs> Open up. I'm climbing in. There's room for both of us. 